so i need to mention like you can see the pbs r3 underscore r1 dot fq dot gz even you need to mention this file extension otherwise if there would be even a single letter missing so then there would be error welcome to another video tutorial in this video i will show you how we can submit our meta genome or meta transcriptome data on ncbi so as here you can see i have already logged into this ncbi website and after login so you can just click on this submit button so once you will click on this so there would be many options so as here you can see we have now sequence read archives so now you can submit your data according to the number of samples and you can simply click on this submit so before submit you need to make sure that you are already logging to this website as i am already logged in so i will simply click on this submit button it will ask you to submit the different options i mean whatever you want like if you want with the new submission or if you have already one so you can go with that one so i have already uh, finished all the details of one submission so let me show you once you will open with the new submission so which option you will have first option once we will start there it will ask you to provide the submitter information so here you can provide your first name last name and email and uh, if you want to submit any submitting organization like your university or your submitting organization department phone number etc and you can also mention the city and the postal code here one thing is very important to note that those options in which are mentioned with the star they are mandatory and we must need to fill them once you have updated all the information you can simply click on the continue so after that there is the general information so as here you can see uh, we need to fill in the bio project information i mean if you have already registered any bio project related to this data so you can choose yes and mention here that bio project number but if you don't want so it will create automatically a new bio, bio project for your data and similarly like the bio samples if you have already uh, registered any bio samples so you can click on yes but if you do not have so it will automatically create all the new uh, bio samples and here is the release data of this web type and uh, this data so i mean do you want to release this data immediately after the processing or do you want to choose any specific date i mean whenever you are like when you think your data is uh, should be published with your publication so i want my data to release immediately though immediately following the processing so it will take maybe around 24 to 48 hours so i will simply go on the continue so as here you can see now it is asking the project information so as in my so as here you can see this my current project title is actually the role of dimer capital in gut brain axis parkinson disease so maybe it would be better like if you can write like the meta genome meta genome to elucidate the role of dimer capital in gut brain axis parkinson disease disease and here you can add the public description i mean how many number of treatments you used and what was the goal of that study and from here you can select uh, the field like in this example it should be the medical and uh, is your project a part of an umbrella project which is already registered with ncbi because my mine is new so i selected no so if you want to create any external link uh, i mean name of display website that is related to this study i mean if any project or any website you have created using this data so you can try to add this description and the link 
and if you have any grants related to this study so you can also add but it is not necessary uh, then uh, if you have any consortium name or data provider about this so you can also add uh, their link and name and uh, next we can go to the biosample types so as here we know because we are using on the mouse so i have used just model organism or the animal so we know that we are using mouse or rat so uh, we will select this one and go with the continue so as here you can see now it will ask you to provide the biosample attributes so we have actually the five treatments as here you can see the treatment name is pbs fc dp l dpm and dph so uh, for each one i have just filled only those options which are with the star so you can see uh, i have used this built-in table editor and uh, our organism is mass musculus and this is the strain and uh, this is the isolate and this is breed so you need to make sure that this strain isolate and breed you should not fill the same for each one i mean you can just use uh, some different names like uh, if you are using stool for everyone just i have mentioned like this is stool for pbs fcs fc dpl i mean you can like mention anything which you think is suitable and uh, then you can mention the age if needed and let me show you the next uh, the developmental ages if it is not acquired so you can simply but those with the star i mean they they are the mandatory so i have filled the collection date then the geographic area and sex and the tissues so uh, then uh, we can simply go on with the continue so as here you can see now we have to fill our sra metadata as previously mentioned i mean we have the five sample uh, we we can see we have pbs fc dpl dpm and dph so as here you can see in the title i have used mouse one mouse two mouse three and uh, similarly i have used the library strategy for amplicon i mean you can select according to your own data and library source i have used as metagenomic data and uh, other options if you think is suitable you can and library selection is pcr and if you have used paired end so we need to make sure that we are uploading two files for each one because if, if you have chosen the single end then maybe for each would be only one raw data file but as we are selecting the paired end so here then we have the two files for all so as here you can see the first actually treatment was pps so as here you can see the pbs1 r1 and r2 because we are using the paired end that is why i am inputting r1 and r2 both but if you will use only single end then maybe here you will have only r1 and then we have pbs r2 then we have pbs r3 so as here you can see here i have mentioned six sample for each treatment so six one two three four five so six into five are total 30 so actually these are total 30 samples so i need to make sure that i have already uploaded all those 30 samples so if i need to show you you can see here i have already uploaded all those files 30 files if even only one is missing here i mean in the metadata file or in or in the filezilla uh, section so there would be error at the end so, and one thing very important to note that you should know that this name should be the exactly the same as this you can see here the first name is pbs3 underscore r2 dot fq dot g z so i need to mention like you can see the pbs r3 underscore r1 dot fq dot gz even you need to mention this 
file extension otherwise if there would be even a single letter missing so then there would be error so you need to make sure that these names and uh, these these met uh, once you have uploaded using the filezilla so these names should match so if you don't know i mean how to use this filezilla i have already recorded one video on the on this how to use filezilla so you can go and watch that video first and uh, then once you have completed the sra data you can go with continue and uh, then it will ask you to uh, reconfirm your data you can see it is asking me to please wait and you can see it is giving one warning if you are submitting meta genome or meta transcriptome data sequence data should be split by each sample barcode for individual file so no problem we can ignore this and we can move ahead So you can see now it is asking me to, I mean, you can see I have used FTP, FTP option. I have already uploaded my all 30 files. So I will click on this auto submission and I will continue. So uh, here you can see uh, the sequence read archive submission will be released. So you can see all is good and our SRA data is submitted. So you can see and now uh, it is awaiting for processing and in 24 hours we will receive email that our sequence read archive has been assigned to this bioproject ID and that's all. So hopefully uh, this video will be helpful uh, to upload SRA data to NCBI. If you have still any question, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.